Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thank you so much for checking in today. If you folks have followed along on the channel over the course of my career on YouTube, you know that I've had a long standing relationship with Taylor Brands. Now, for folks that don't know, Taylor Brands was the parent company of Charade, Old Timer, Uncle Henry, Imperial. Well, they were bought out last year by Smith & Wesson. They created a company called BTI Tools, and now what that's done is it's opened the door for YouTube gear reviewers to be able to review Smith & Wesson products a lot easier. Well, the folks over at BTI sent me a catalog. I scanned down through the catalog, and I looked for some items that I thought you folks out there would be interested in. Today, I'm going to showcase those items. Now, here's how this video is going to work. I'm going to showcase the items that I picked for their brand new 2017 lineup. And I want you folks to pick your top pick, just one. The top pick of the items that I'm going to show, I will do a full-blown video gear review on that item. Today, I'll show you up close and personal. You'll get to see it. You're not going to see it in action. It's kind of like a new 2017 first impressions item, but full-blown gear review on the viewer's choice award for that number one pick in the comments down below. So without further ado, let's get this started. Pick number one is a Schrade knife, and it is the SCHF 66. Now, what piqued my interest in the catalog on this knife was it's compact, it's a really cool design. I could see this being used as a EDC. I'm gonna run through some of the specs of this blade and I'll show you some shots here up close and personal. The overall length of this knife is uh, 6.43 inches long. The blade length is 2.92 inches long. The handle is 3.8 five, six inches long. The steel that they're using on this knife is a 7CR17 MOV. That's a high carbon stainless steel. And the handles are TPE slabs on there and it has a little lanyard hole. And it only weighs four ounces. When I first put this knife in my hand, I was like, man, I could see this as an EDC blade where your job or your work permits. Small, compact. I really like the profile of this blade. Has a hollow grind on there. And it just fits really cool in the hand. It's got a uh, nice little, um, what are they calling this? A black polyester belt sheath. And I could see the custom Kydex guys just going crazy over this. This would be a cool little neck knife as well. Nice and compact, only weighs four ounces. It's not too scary if you're wearing it in the workplace. This would even make a nice little skinning knife. It just feels really good and you can get your finger right up in that first choil and just choke up on the blade and just get right down and uh, dirty with this. So this is the SCHF 66, just a nice little blade. Next in the lineup is a Smith & Wesson knife. Now, this is a first for the channel. This is the first Smith & Wesson fixed blade that I've showcased on this channel. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, let's go over some of the specs on this. Now, this is model number uh, SWF603. Let's get some up close and personal looking view on this. This knife is made out of eight CR13 MOV. That's a stainless steel, high carbon stainless steel. The overall length of this knife is uh, 9.98 inches. The blade length is 4.94 inches and the handle length is 5.16 inches. Comes with G10 slab scales on there for the handles. It's a uh, Tonto design. Pretty well balanced, comes in at just a little bit over eight and a half ounces. Now, applications. You could use this uh, as a tactical carry, as a hunting knife, camping knife. I like how they've taken a little meat off the top 
of the spine of this knife. And I like that stone wash finish. Just looks really cool. Makes that knife pop. Just a really cool design. You have jimping along the spine of this knife. And I didn't find it too aggressive. My hand feels really secure on there. And there's cutouts in just the right place and a really good chamfer on this G10 scales to where I don't see where there would be any hot spots. I just really like that design. Comes with a, uh, I want to say a thermoplastic sheath and it's designed for uh, multiple carry options. So obviously if you're a right or lefty, you could switch back and forth and also you could do just traditional belt hanging or it looks like you can go uh, scout style. And uh, you got a couple different positions here that you could do that. Knife locks in there pretty good. A little bit of a rattle, but not bad. And what you're hearing there is just the fasteners for the uh, handle if you uh, move it. So I would take those off for uh, everyday application, but nice little rig, looks really cool. And uh, I love that sort of stone wash finish. Next knife on the list of knives to showcase today is another Smith & Wesson knife. This is the SWF 604. Now this one has a really aggressive Tanto on there. And let's get up close and we'll talk about some of the specs on this one. This one is also made out of 8CR13 MOV, high carbon stainless steel. The overall length is 9.95 inches. The blade length is 5.01 inches. The handle length is 5.02 inches long. The scale slabs are made out of G10. And the weight on this is almost about 11 to 12 ounces. So this one, same steel, but without the uh, stone wash on there and uh, doesn't have the jimping on the spine like uh, the uh, 603 does. But uh, you have a thumb ramp, has jimping there and uh, has like a little blood cut out, blood groove in the blade. And you got a couple different angles on this grind. But uh, same thing there. I like the cutout on the G10. It's uh, ambidestric, so you can go back and forth. And it looks like they have a little bit of carbon fiber inlay on those G10 scales. So it has a really nice feel to it. We'll see how balanced this one is. Almost on center. I like the finger choil on there. Hand feels really secure, so you're not gonna slip if you're cutting, slashing, doing all sorts of stuff. This, in, in my mind, is uh, more of a tactical blade. You're piercing things. I would have no doubt that you could probably go through soft uh, body armor with that Kevlar, no problem at all. And uh, there's a nice radius on the top, and they run most of the meat right down the center of this blade. So it looks like you're going to get a lot of strength uh, on that. So that is the SWF 604. All right, folks, this is where you come in. Like I said earlier in the intro, you get to pick the top knife in this lineup of the three, but you can only pick one. I will comb through all the comments and I will pick the winner from the Viewer's Choice Awards, and then we'll do a full-blown video review on that blade. We'll go crazy town with it. So, just to recap, do you want to see the SEHF 66? This is a cute little EDC knife. Do you want to see the SWF 603 or the SWF 604? Both of those blades are made out of the... Uh, 8 CR13 MOV, just one has that uh, sort of stone wash and the other one is just a polished finish. 
I'm really excited to see what you folks are going to pick out there. Um, and then we'll just go crazy town. Uh, you'll know the winner when I do the review and I'll probably announce it maybe on social media. Maybe I'll take a photo or something and put it on Instagram. With that said, this is a great time to be a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, hey, what are you waiting for? We have a lot of good content lined up for this summer. Click that subscribe button, get her done, and uh, follow along on social media. Links down below in the video description. I won't bore you with the details. And I thank you so much, the viewer, for watching and participating and being part of the action. As always, folks, take care out there, and I'll see you on the next video. Now, get out there and vote.